Hey, MC back here again with my build project. So another unboxing, another delivery from those guys. So first box, we got kite string or survey string. Yellow masonry line. So this stuff is going to get tied on these boards so we can get a 90 degree corner from north to south running along the east edge and then a 90 degree corner running from east to west along the north edge. I have the threaded rod at the outside of my 50 foot width. So we're gonna move in 49 foot, nine inches. So if you're doing the math at home, that gives me an inch and a half worth of treated lumber on the outside of my posts on both the um, east and the west, as well as the north and the south. That way my overall outside dimensions will end up landing at 50 feet. So we compensate for that inch and a half on either end with our string. So when we set our post in the hole, because we're going to dig a 20, 24 inch hole here with a uh, auger off the back or off the uh, skid loader, drop our concrete puck down in. Uh, we, we compensate uh, an inch and a half on each corner so that we can true our pole running vertical. Make sure that we are square with our string on both the east and the north. And then once we get our post square with the string, then we can make sure the post is plumb. Drop in the concrete and start setting poles. Once we get all those poles set, then we get to start putting on the boards. And that takes us to this other box. Once the boards are all on, and we can get the trusses set, then, then we move on to these. And lately it's been getting pretty windy. So we're going to add some hot dipped eight penny bit eight penny nails as well as a bunch of hurricane straps. So these things will get nailed down to my two by twelves that are gonna be my top plate, and then my truss will set down in this pocket and get nailed. So we'll nail this thing down on the top of my 2x12 and then grab the edge of my truss this way. So it's going to be nailed on two sides as well as pinned. So we've got a stack of those things, a stack of nails, a bunch of string, and expecting in the next day to get my lumber delivered. And then I'm also getting a bunch of uh, concrete slag so big chunks of regrind uh, recycled ass or recycled uh, concrete. So the concrete's going to end up going in the hole to help fill, stabilize, and hold my posts until the concrete sets. Also, I've got about a foot and a half fall with my grade. So for now, I'm going to keep the sod in place because it's been raining for a week, and we're expecting rain next week. So we'll keep the equipment on the grass get the poles all set. Once I get the poles set, squared up, screwed together, locked in place, then we'll take the bucket of the skid loader, we'll drag the topsoil off, drag in the slag, drag in the stone, set up the transit, get the, uh, get the inside all leveled off. Uh, I got a natural fall. We built a ditch back here a number 15 years ago or better to help keep the water out of that field so that we don't end up with mosquitoes in a big wet area. So I've got enough room on the back here to get scaffold set up, uh, run the lawnmower along the side, and uh, pretty much you know stay away from the ditch. But the ground's going to be kind of mushy over here. Uh, I'm going to go with 18 foot tall poles so we get a good three and a half to four foot uh, depth with our set. Help get us below the frost line. But yeah, stay tuned. This will be a fun build project. Nice little garden shed. So, till next time, thanks for watching. Leave a comment and uh, follow the progress. Later.